Hammerfest, the self-styled northernmost city in the world with the weather to match. This Arctic town is the gateway to the oil industry in the Barents Sea, one of the sources of Norway's $1.1 trillion sovereign wealth fund. Here, engineers groove threads into pipes that must be accurate to 1 500th of a millimetre to avoid catastrophic leaks when drilling for oil and gas. The meaning of oil in Norway is, is essential. This is what we have built now for 50 years in Norway. This is, a, this is making Norway Norway. We will develop this business also to go more and more green, but uh, still we are dependent of oil. The giant rig Goliath was towed north from Hammerfest, but it may be one of the last. This year, Norway offered up licenses to explore for oil in eight new areas in the Barents and one in the North Sea. Only four of them were taken up. Firms like the state oil company Equinor are still plugging away in the Barents Sea, despite having drilled a number of dry wells in recent years. But the apparent general lack of interest in exploring this part of the continental shelf comes as the Norwegian people seem to be just starting to turn away from an industry that transformed their country from one of the poorest in Europe to one of the richest in the world. With an election looming, the Greens, who want to end all exploration, look like getting enough votes to make them kingmakers in a coalition. The government has responded by reducing how much taxpayers will subsidise new drilling. We still have a long-term view on the activity on the Norwegian continental shelf, but having said that, we are preparing for a future with less demand and also less production. In fact, we do predict that Norwegian oil production will perhaps go down by as much as 65% towards the middle of the century, and that's simply because the Norwegian continental shelf is mature and we're probably uh, well above the peak now. Norway's past and present come together in Hammerfest. Fishing and reindeer herding continues a few miles from Equinor's liquid nitrogen gas plant. But it's the future that's in focus in this camp, where indigenous activist Lasse Björn is one of six environmentalists who have taken Norway to the European Court of Human Rights over its drilling in the Arctic. Hopefully it will have serious consequences of Norwegian oil policy. We will have, hopefully have a government that takes uh, into account that Norwegian oil policy are causing climate change. What are we if we lose our areas, our nature? Less speculation in the Barents may be welcomed by an increasing number of voters, but existing Norwegian fields still pump out 4 million barrels of oil a day. With Norway's economy and its generous benefits reliant on that production, change to greener energy will only come about slowly. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Hammerfest.